open, just admit it See, I gave you faith, turned your doubt into hope and can't deny it Now I'm all alone and my joys turn them open Hello! It's me! Jamie Yockey and Mackenzie Henry and we're here with your channel, channel 3, 3 news. news attention all students who have completed algebra 2 applications are now available for Moo Alpha Theta the math honor society outside room 254 they are due Friday January 29th attention bookends on January 28th we leave at the end of the third period during SSR and news time meet up in Dr. Smith's room room 353 we will be heading down to Mount Rock to read the, to the kindergarten classes. If you are assigned to bring food in, please remember, make sure to bring your favorite children's book. Now check out this latest bookend sponsored trailer. If you're reading this, my mama's sitting there. Looks like I only got a one-way ticket over here I sure wish I could give you one more kiss and War was just a game we played when we were kids Well, I'm laying down my gun I'm hanging up my boots I'm up here with God and we're both watching over you So lay me down In that open field out on the edge of town and look Genius 33 is a club that allows you, you freedom to pursue a project you have a passion about. Check this out and sign up to join! project on art, working on an app called Sumo Paint, which is not a very good app, but I joined Genius 33 Club because I needed a place where I could do something productive without having to do a lot of schoolwork. As you can see here, we are colonized, uh, we're doing a project about colonizing Mars and how in the future um, humans would be able to colonize Mars. And we have a couple ways on here, and the first way is called the CF4 Creation Way. Because we wanted somewhere where we could do what we wanted, as long as it was, you know, Fun. reasonable. So we decided to colonize, uh, how to do colonizing Mars, because we both knew a lot about the topic, and we both knew that we were able to do that. Uh, my project for Genius 33 is a game called Fancy Paramecium. It's an online game so anyone can play. I didn't actually code it, but it's basically just a game about this little green blob with a top hat, and you try to avoid obstacles and get to level 5 where you beat the game. It's basically just a microscopic version of Super Mario Bros. Attention seniors, the counseling department will be offering flex time sessions on January 27th and February 4th to help students navigate the financial aid process. These sessions will assist in understanding and preparing to complete the BASPA and BIA applications as well as any additional documents required by a college or technical school. Space is limited. 
The Chesapeake Bay Foundation is visiting Big Spring to recruit students into the Mentors in Ag program. The presentation will take place on Thursday, January 28th during Bee Lunch. This program will begin in the spring of 2016 and is available to all students and teachers. If you are interested in the program or hearing more about the opportunities available with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, please reg register to attend in Flex Time Manager. And now on to Kayla with your sports. Shot to the heart and you're too late, darling. You give love a bad name. I'm Kayla here with your sports. Last night, swimming won against Susquehanna Township. The girls won 121 to 54, and the boys won 125 to 56. Girls basketball lost to Milton Hershey 51 to 40. Wrestling won 51 to 18 versus Shippensburg. This year's basketball team has had some memorable moments and memorable players. Check it out here with a feature story done by Andy and Tyler. Hey, Big Spring, I'm Andy. And I'm Tyler, and we're here with your Channel 3 News. Today, we're bringing you a story about the boys' basketball seniors. Let's figure out what they're all about, and let's hear some stats. I'm Derek Swigger. I've been playing basketball for six years, and I'm a guard on the team. Get wet. <laughs> Derek Swigger is a 5'8 guard. So far this season, he's come up with 11 steals. I'm here with uh, Braden Petty and Colin Boyd, who are two freshmen on the basketball team. What's the best thing you guys have learned from the seniors this year? When you're running your sprints, you got to touch the lines. You're going to run again. And something that I've learned from the seniors is that you always got to try your best and work hard. That way, you'll make Coach happy. My name is Bryce Booth. I've been playing four years, and I'm a forward. I just want to hit him in the sun. Get wet. <laughs> Not banking it. Bryce Ruth is a six foot three forward for the team. He's coming out with 145 points so far this season, averaging about 10 points a game, and so far this season leads the team in blocks with 34. What's the biggest uh, hole that you're going to have to fill next year with these seniors going out? Well, we definitely are going to miss our point, our starting point guard, Riker Armand, so we're going to need a good ball handler to take care of his spot, and Bryce Ruth, who is our main big, so we'll need him to be replaced. You just got to step up. Fill in, you know? Dr. Armand, I've been playing basketball for 11 years. I've been on varsity for four years and been the point guard starter for varsity three years. Get wet! Oh! Riker Armand is 5 feet tall, 11 inches. He's a point guard here at Big Spring. He's been on varsity all four years and he's been starting three. Riker leads the pack with 149 points and 12 is averaging 12 points per game. He also leads in all the steals and assists. And finally, what's uh, one thing you want the seniors to know as they're heading out? Oh, thank you for teaching us how to play basketball better. You know? Yeah, and I have to agree with that. And whenever you're in college, you're still going to have to come out to Big Spring High School and still watch the basketball games. Being Steph Curry with the shot, being cooking with the sauce, Chef Curry with the pot, boy. 360 with the wrist, boy. Spring physicals will be held here at school on February 29th at 12:30 in the nurse's office. Please stop by the athletic office to pick up required paperwork. Now to your weather with Courtney. I said no one has to know what we do. His hands are in my hair. His clothes are in my room. Good morning, Big Spring. I'm Courtney Mal here with your weather. So here we have the beautiful sunrise you saw this morning. And now we'll get right into your weather for today. The high today will be 32, and the low tonight will be 24. But I know you want to know about this big snowstorm tonight. So I know you've probably heard about this big winter storm, Jonah's. So what I'm going to tell you about is all the little details here. Uh, what you can see behind me here is that we are going to get we're kind of in between here you see that we have maybe about a foot we're kind of in between the 8 to 12 to 12 to 16 range but we'll see what happens um, there's a lot of things that you can be looking out for we're under a winter storm warning as of right now also 
there is a state of emergency that our governor Tom Wolf put out. So there's a few things that you should be careful about. Um, you shouldn't drive if you can help it on Saturday because it'll be snowing all day and it'll be progressively worse. Of course, as you can tell, the totals are going to be pretty high as the day goes on. And there are likely power outages, so you should be careful about that. Make sure you have supplies. And the snow is definitely going to start tonight around 7 p.m. So be careful about that and plan accordingly. I've been coordinating with your weather and back to the news. The Capital Area Education Association Scholarship is available to any student planning on majoring in special education, speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, adaptive PE, or school psychology. This is a $500 scholarship. Please stop by the counseling office for more information. These schools are visiting Big Spring soon, January 27th at 1.30, Empire Beauty School, February 17th at 1 o'clock, Shears Cosmetology School. Please sign up in the guidance office if you are interested. Gears Submission Contest. Gears, our school's literary, literary magazine, is giving you the opportunity to win some prizes if you submit artwork or writing pieces to them. Check out this video for more information. Did you know that our school has a literary magazine called Gears? Well, now you do, and we're looking for art and writing submissions for our magazine. When it comes to artwork, we look for things like 3D art, uh, drawings, paintings, and photography. And if you'd like to submit any artwork to Gears, please email Carly Aki so that she can uh, explain to you what you need to do when it comes to taking photographs of your artwork to submit. For writing, we look for things like short stories, poems, memoirs, and flash fiction, and pretty much any other miscellaneous writing work that you'd like to submit. And all writing submissions can be shared with me, Kayla Dobbins. Why should you submit your work to Gears? Well, for one, you're going to be helping out our literary magazine, and we love to see the talent in our school. But also, we have a lot of awesome prizes that we're offering in a competition for everyone who submits. For each art submission, you will be entered into a competition to win one of three items. The first item is a Michaels gift card. The second item is a $10 gift card to the One Stop Dog Shop. And the third item is a growler mug, as you can see here. So you can get a discount on your coffee. For every writing submission, you will get entered into a competition to win one of three items. The first item is a $15 Panera gift card. The second item is, again, a $10 gift card to the One Stop Dog Shop. And the third item is, just like as in the art competition, a growler mug. Wait, there's more. If you submit something to Gears, you automatically will be given a free dessert item at the thank you from the Gears staff. Don't forget, all pieces must be submitted by January 28th in order to be considered for the contest. Club pictures for the yearbook begin next week. Here are the clubs being photographed. Tuesday, A Lunch. Art Club, Art Honor Society, and Hunting and Fishing Club. Tuesday, B Lunch. Try M. Wednesday, A Lunch. Team Sports 1. Wednesday, B Lunch. Mu, Alpha, Theta, and Rho Kappa. Thursday, A Lunch. Quiz Bowl. Thursday B lunch, math competition team, team sports two, and both sports and film groups. Friday A lunch, needle, needle work club, fantasy sports, and jam session. Most club pictures are occurring during club's regular meeting time, so report to your clubs as usual. The only exceptions are Mu Alpha Theta, Rho Kappa, and Mr. Real Sports and Film Group. Because these groups are getting pictures during a time other than their club time, they will be requested for a flex time by Ms. Doherty.
Sunday is the deadline to order a yearbook. Check your school email from last week for details. Read your high school news by following us on Twitter at BSHSCH3, liking our Facebook page, BSHS Newsroom, and reading our latest articles at Paw Print. Goodbye. It's been us, Jamie Aki and Mackenzie Henry. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over.